Yo, so the goal for this video is very simple. Try and see if there's a significant impact on performance between 60 Hertz and 144 Hertz in 2023. I will be using different tests to determine the difference between the two, and I will compare some old results to see the difference over time. I will also perform the tests on two separate days to make it as objective as possible. Going into this video, I'll tell you what to expect. I will give you an honest opinion on the difference and whether that difference is huge and importantly, whether you should invest into it or not. So let's get into it. The first test is an op peak test. This is important because of a simple assumption. The better refresh rate, the sooner the opponent will appear on your screen. With each refresh rate comes a delay, which can be seen if we pause the video. The lower refresh rate takes a bit of time to appear on screen, which can be the difference between you getting a kill in game or getting killed. Sixty hertz. I landed five shots out of ten. That test was done after an op warm up in which I whiffed a lot of shots, which probably explains the one out of ten score in the old video. The lesson is sixty hertz is fine, but you need to hone your craft to an extent to be consistent with it. On 144, I landed 7 out of 10 shots. I found it to be easily consistent even though Gino was making it way harder compared to the 60 test. It was still a clear winner in my eyes. Consistent shots and just smoother overall. There is a bonus test on 244Hz that proves that warm up actually affects your shots but you can be insanely consistent on higher refresh rates. Gino whiffed a lot at the beginning, but once he warmed up, he was consistently landing shots back to back. The second test is a range test. This is important because we get to see if there is an impact on your performance with different refresh rates. We are going to measure our skill level in 15 bot attempts on two different days. Before I comment on the results, a couple of reminders. I have not played FPS games for a year or so now. The tests were done on hard difficulty bots. They were also done on multiple days and I warmed up before each test. The results were very consistent with the op test. Decent scores on 60 Hertz, but insanely consistent results on 144. As you can see on screen, I dipped below 10 
multiple times on 60, while it rarely happened on the 144 tests. Let us take a look at some of the comments from my other video, what the viewers thought on the difference between 60 and 144 hertz. Going from 60 to 144 is crazy. I was shocked and I can never go back. True, I agree 100%. I used to use 60 and it feels like drops of FPS after switching to 144. That is one good way of describing the difference. That is true, 100%. Comparing 60 to 144 feels like stuttering, especially in FPS games. That is also another good way of describing it. It feels like a lot of stutters. You probably won't see a difference since you're most likely on 60 hertz. What a flex. Lol, but it wasn't a flex. Most YouTube videos are 60 FPS, including that one. So you cannot tell the difference. You probably won't see a difference since you're most likely on 60 hertz. Laughs in 240. That is an actual flex right there, lol. It has been tested and factually proven. Yes, true. My op test was bad because of packet loss. No, trust me, I did multiple runs. I did like more than 50 shots and only those 10 made it to the video because that would be very boring if I had multiple shots. It did not change the outcome though. As a conclusion, is the 144 Hertz better than 60 Hertz? Yes, by a big margin, huge difference. You can easily be consistent on higher refresh rates, especially in FPS games. Can you spot the difference? Yes, it is very obvious and once you get used to it, getting back to 60 feels really weird and clunky. Is the difference huge or minimal? The difference in my opinion is big. Let's be honest, mostly you're getting a better refresh rate to get good. And like I said in the last video, this will surely push you to a better skill level especially in FPS games. Is it worth investing into? It really depends. Let's go with option one. You can run your games at higher FPS and can afford it, then yes, you should go for it. Option two, you cannot run your games FPS at the level of refresh rate or higher, then no. If your refresh rate, let's say, is 240, but you can only run your game of Valorant at 100 FPS, then you're not getting the value out of that. So no option three you want to push yourself to get better at games then yes that's very simple option four you just want to enjoy a smooth gameplay even in non fps games that is also a yes it's very uh, you, you can tell the difference fps or not in games like the movement is just smooth and it's just a better experience overall and that will be it for me i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and yeah peace out bye